Hello and welcome back to another installment to Pokefutter and I know, I know, I know, I know. It has been a hot minute since I uploaded a Pokemon Duel video to my channel. And let me just say that it, it's not because I haven't recorded videos, because I have. I've actually recorded a video almost every single day since the last video that I posted. The problem is is because I respect the Pokemon Duel community, my heart wasn't in those videos. And I felt like if I put out content that I was faking it and faking my enthusiasm for the game, if I put out a video like that, you guys would see right through it. And it would be a waste of your time for me to be faking it. And so I just decided that it was better to do no video than to put out garbage. And so I just never posted those videos. Um, and no, I haven't quit playing Pokemon Duel. I, I, I did take a break. I think I played five matches, six matches total out of the team event. But I just reached a point where I was completely, I'm, I still am, I'm completely disgusted with the way that Heroes runs this game. And so I look at my options and I weigh them out and my options are A, quit playing. B, which I've already done, is to quit supporting them monetarily. And my, what I, my problem with the game is the account security. I, I, we're in 2018, and I've said this before, and I, I, like I don't want it, this whole video, and this whole video is not going to be about this, but we're in 2018. And for a company to provide a service and say, we're not responsible for account security, it's crap. Like, I'm going to call a spade a spade. It's crap. And we, as the Pokemon Duel community, A, we deserve better, and B, we should expect better. And I know far, far, far too many people who have lost their account. Now, here's the problem with all this. If you're not a content creator, you, re you really have nothing to worry about with the exception of if your phone breaks or, or something like it, it's primarily a content creator problem but it's not solely a content creator problem because i do know people who aren't content creators who have lost their account and they email to try to get it back and like nope, sorry there's nothing we can do for you and in today's day and age when you look at every game across the board they're linked whether it be to facebook your your like Game Center, if you're on iOS, a Gmail account. There's so many ways to protect the consumer that for heroes to not protect the consumer is egregious. Like it is, it's unacceptable. And what this does is it puts me in the awkward position of, I feel like, I feel like as a community, like we've built a pretty strong community. It's not the largest community. This is not Pokemon Go, but we've built a pretty big community. And people come and people go and new people join the game and, and old timers leave. And that's the natural progression of any game. And I've just gotten to the point where I feel like Heroes doesn't give a flip about any of us. And, and so then I'm, okay, so I'm not gonna support their decisions financially. And I can't tell you guys what to do. You know, if, if everybody quit buying gems, I, I think they would get the message. I, I, something would have to change, but that's not realistic. So then my next option is to quit promoting their game and doing videos on it. And, and this kind of all just kind of coincided with the fact that I was down on their game, I'm not happy with the way things are being run, something needed to change. And then I just 
got disgusted every time I opened the app. And I'd play a game and I'd just be like, whatever, I don't care. And I'd play horrible and I'd inevitably lose. And it just got to the point where just seeing the app on my phone just brought up, harbored so much resentment that I didn't want to play at all. And so that's kind of where everything was. And, and as a content creator, you expect more out of me. I expect more out of me. And I just felt like it was time to take a break. And so I did. And there were a lot of events that happened today. Um, as you know, Chicken, who was one of the first, if not the first content creator for Pokemon Duel, decided he was going to try to make a comeback. And I don't know if, if he didn't know about, you can't show your game ID, your support ID or whatever. I don't know if he didn't know or if he didn't care or if he just thought it was stupid and, and whatever. I don't know. I don't know the specifics of it. But he came back, showed his ID, and someone took his account, and now he's raising a big fuss about it, which he rightfully should raise a big fuss about it. And, and like, it was a big topic in, in the Pokemon Duel community today about account security, and I'll put a link in the comments below, but K-Dub, went ahead and put together a petition to get the Pokemon company to change this rule. Will it do good? I don't know, but it's worth a try. And so it leads me up to today and um, we've got news of a new figure, two new figures actually coming, uh, Melotic, Melotic, and then some bass or something figure with it, which is its pre-evolution. Um, rumor is that this is going to be available in a pre-sale. And so you're gonna have the opportunity just like Arcanine to purchase this before it's actually available in boosters. And I have no problem with that. If they wanna release figures for sale only, I actually think that's a better way, a more efficient way for the consumer to pick up figures that they want. Um, and if they're going to do that, I imagine it's going to be a very, very good figure. If you look at Arcanine, it is a very good figure that actually became better once the Fire Banner came out. So I think that uh, this figure will be good, but it'll be better once the Water Banner comes out. So be looking for that in a pre-sale um, the 25th. And having said all that, as you see, I, I legit, in <laughs> my rank, is pretty funny because earlier today, I think I was in the 26 or 2700s because I legit went and put in an all common team and just played it for like three days. Could care less if I won or lost. Obviously I got absolutely hammered. And so we're, we're gonna do a road to 3K except I'm actually putting in a real deck again. And it's been a long, long time since I've played a real deck in Pokemon Duel. I've, I've played Dragons, i played Swablus, which I guess is a real deck, but for the longest, for weeks now, and I don't even know how long it's been since I played an Ultra Beast deck, quite honestly, it, it's a month maybe. But for several weeks now, I have just kind of played whatever, Lugia. Like Lugia should be better than it is. I love the, the four-star purple wheel. Um, but it's garbage outside of that. And so I went ahead and played that. And there's just a handful of other figures that I just wanted to use. And they lost a lot. And so I decided to go ahead and throw my Ultra Beast that I invested a lot of resources into. And now that I'm not spending money on gems and the, the monthly, uh, loyalty rewards you know all those all those things are harder to come by i want to say that it's probably been about six weeks that i've been free to play so stay at home dad i'm now part of the free to play clan <laughs> um and so i just broke out a deck that i was 
pretty well stacked on. I wonder. Should look at my opponent's place. Double chance, three X attacks, hurdle jump, goal block. I will say that it is an absolutely different world down here in the league. It's not Master Legends League. I don't even know what league this is. The Purple League. It's a totally different world. I, I, the last opponent I faced, I want to say, probably was um, four megas, <laughs> which is something that you just outside you just won't see that outside of this tier of game. So um, it's definitely interesting. It, it's it's kind of refreshing to see different figures. Um, it's a pretty meta. I don't even know what's meta anymore, fire, but it's an interesting deck. I'm just gonna go ahead and ice my opponent there, which is cool. I could just go ahead and knock him straight out. Um, but I'm not going to. He can go over there and wake up his ho. -oh. Not wake him up, but de-ice him. And something's going on with my game. And I don't know if this is a bug, but when I tap on my figure, it doesn't show me where I can move. And it's actually messed me up a few times because I did it, see it does it for Coco here, but I thought I could get us around and I, it didn't show that I could, so I didn't know. And um, see, like sometimes I I could have gotten a surround to save myself, but it, it didn't show that I could hop over a figure. I was like, oh, I guess there's something going on that I can't soar over or move past or whatever. And so let me know in the comments below. Is that is that like a known thing? Like see here, I don't know. I don't think he can, but I don't know for fact that he can't. So what I'm gonna do, I don't know that he can't move through my figure here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and kind of waste my mega evolution here. But that allows me to cover the goal. I should be able to just knock out. Pretty easy peasy here. 173. Ouch. That's a pretty decent, uh, <laughs> It's pretty decent damage dealings right there. But I think he has to have sphere plate to move, to pass through. I don't see that. Um, we are going to use the ability of rocket ride. <clears throat> Straight up to here. That's gonna create a, a basically an impossible situation for my opponent. He has to put something on goal I guess he could just hop over the Lunala, but I'm still gonna double chance and uh, go for my call signal. Now this is not my better of the two Nihiligos. In fact, this one actually has the purple leveled up. <clears throat> and I'm actually gonna take that. I could have respun. And had he rolled purple, I probably would have respun there. But I had the winning roll. I could have lost, so I decided not to re-roll. And um, if I roll blue here, that's a good game. And we're gonna roll another stun poison. Um. Interesting. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I will back up and I have to attack. <laughs> and that is why I went ahead and leveled up the stun poison. Is it creates a lot of problems for your opponent when they have weight sixes. And he's going to be able to bring Grovile out, but... If I stun poison, poison Grovile, I think that is... If 
feel like I should do it. Oh, he's going to do it for me. <laughs> and then we get the call signal. Um, we're actually going to go for either the KO or the stun poison. KO is going to work. My Nihiligo is just absolutely on fire. Now, I think all he can do is hurdle jump with his aggro. I think that's the only play that he can make right here. <laughs> if he even knows that, I don't know. If he does hurdle jump over... Oh, I guess he's just going to waste the plate there. I really don't like that not being able to see where I can go. Not a good decision by my opponent. Win, lose, or draw. We'll begin the solo march up the side of the board. Relentless, I tell you. <laughs> one by one, we're going to slowly make our way up the side of the board. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's so great. Everybody being poisoned. <laughs> Unfortunately... I can't get past his Aggron. That's going to be the one downside to all of this. I'm going to have to attack. Guess now's as good a time as any, right? <laughs> My poor opponent. And um, I think just take my Fermosa over here to surround is, if I'm around to surround, is going to be the way to go there. I'm going to work my way up and attack with the Nihiligo first because of the prevailing blue. Gives me better survivability. cool with that. Let's see if we can roll a blue here. That works as well. Now my opponent's in a little bit of trouble. I'm going to have to attack with Combuskin. That is going to be GG right there because my opponent has to move his Lunala. And I either can take it with the three steps or with the two steps. 
So, um, Road to 3K is underway. <laughs> this is about my 19th Road to 3K. Anyway, while my opponent is going to rage quit instead of just hit the forfeit button, consider if, if the game is important to you, whether you've lost an account or not, it could happen to you. Think about filling out the petition that K-Dub has started. Um, I don't know how many signatures there are, but I feel like there's a few. And I, I, he's trying to get a thousand signatures. I think there are a thousand active players of this game. And so it only takes a second to fill out. And um, I don't know. But um, anyway, I'm, I, I promise I'm going to continue to try to put out Pokemon Duel content. I, I'm going to also say in the same breath as I say that, that it's not going to be every day content. Um, it, you know, it, it's, it's kind of like when a girlfriend breaks up with you and then you're really sad about it and you don't know what to do. And then you finally get to a point where you've accepted that it is the way it is. And then maybe they want to try again. And so you, you're open to the idea and you're remembering what once was something really great. And you're hoping that it can be really great again. At the same time, you're a little gun shy to put your real emotions and, and into the relationship. That's kind of where I am with the game now. I, I hope it gets back to being the game that I really enjoyed creating content for and looked forward to creating content every day. At the same time, I don't know that anything is ever gonna change. And so I'm cautiously optimistic, but I will continue to put out videos more regularly than one like I did last week. It may be something that ends up being like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, type upload schedule. I'm not 100% sure at this point, but um, yeah. So that's where we are. I, um, I still have my account and uh, I'm gonna actually play my meta decks the be to the best that I have and, and try to climb back up into competitive ranks again. So that's all I've got for this one. I appreciate everybody's support over the, the course of two years, whatever, a year and a half, whatever it was that I've been doing Pokemon Duel content. And it, like I honestly feel like it's a great community and I really do enjoy the community. And I, I miss not being fully into the community, but at the same time, I felt like a break was just needed and I feel a little more refreshed right now. So that's where we're gonna leave today's video.